Hyde and the Pluckers are the Sword Fingers again with you with hopefully a little interesting ditty for you from a classic song with um, The Freak uh, by Sheik. Okay, um, this is a classic little riff which I thought you might like to have a go at. Okay, obviously normally played on a, an electric guitar but uh, you can play on an acoustic, you know. So uh, it's relatively simple, it's just a case of practice it. The, uh, to get the sort of rhythm bit going. Um, it's mainly played on the top four strings, okay? So four, three, two, one, okay? It's mainly where it's happening, okay? So I'm tending to rest my thumb on the bottom E string, so if I hit it by accident, it doesn't sound, okay? And also, the you can also mute the fifth string if you want, put your thumb over that as well. It's up to you, but okay. So um, it starts off with a, just a straightforward a minor seventh. I'm, I'm barring the first four strings on the fifth fret and doing a sort of downstroke. Okay. Okay. So the first one's just the, to get it going is just the one, and then what you do, keeping that bar on the four uh, four strings on the fifth fret there, you hammer up from the 5th uh, fret of the 4th string to the 7th with your 3rd finger and then you sort of pick that 5th fret of the 3rd string and the 2nd string so it's playing the, it's a double stop really on the 5th fret of the 2nd string and the 3rd string, down and up, right. then down to that so 7th fret of the 4th again, and then I'm playing so another double stop, the 5th fifth, fifth fret of the 4th string and the 3rd string, and then putting that third finger back to the seventh fret of the fourth string. So it's got that. And then what you do is you bar the seventh fret of the fourth, third and second strings with a third finger. And try and hit those just those three strings if you can. And, da, 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 da. and then finally go back to that A minor seventh again and hit the fourth, third, and second strings on that one. So it's and then next when you get going it's twice to start it off. Just two quick downstrokes will do on the top three strings, really. Okay, then you do that hammer, then you play the fifth fret of the third and second string, back to the seventh fret of the fourth string, play the fifth fret of the fourth and third strings together, and then take it back to the seventh fret of the fourth, along with the with that one as well, if you like. These third on the fifth there, third string, uh, third string on the fifth fret. So you're playing the fourth and third strings together on the fourth and third strings, hammering up, going up to the seventh fret on the fourth. There. So slowly. This hand is just basically just going constantly, okay? It's all done on this hand. When you've done that initial, you release the pressure on this finger to kill the string. Don't, don't keep it pressed. 
it's, the idea is to let go of, keep it positioned but release the pressure so it kills it, right? Okay. And occasionally he plays something like so on the occasionally when it gets to that D to the A S A minor seventh, he does it very quick. And what I'm doing to get that sound is I'm borrowing the first three strings on the seventh fret and then adding my third finger and borrowing the second string and the third first string on the eighth fret. Okay, so you get this sound. Uh, Got the idea? So when you put the two together you get this sort of Anyway, so there you have it. Hopefully that will enable you to hopefully play that little riff. It takes a bit of practice, but once you get into it, it'll come, okay? Once you can start messing around with it, once you get really into it, you can do your own thing with it, okay? Well, thanks very much for watching and listening, and uh, hopefully see you in the next lesson. Bye for now.